Yes. You guessed it right. No, I'm not dead. Yes, I'm still here. My goodness, I know, man. You know, um, I've been thinking, should I make this vlog? I feel like either I got to close this chapter or I got to open it back up. Either way, I had to make this vlog. So what have, been, what have I been up to? Man, you know what? There's been a lot of things. It's been a long time, right? It's been a lot of things. Oh, man. And I, I do want to apologize for my absence. It's been how many years? I, I, can't, I can't even tell, man. Um, you know, one thing I would say, though, like watching my poker vlogs, has been like, um, you know, I'm, I, I feel like I'm much happier, you know? It just seems like that way. Oh, by the way, let me get a context in. Um, I've been vlogging trucking-wise, so that's what I've been doing. So I got into uh, owner-operator uh, style type trucking vlogs, and man, I tell you what, it was okay there, but man, I rewatch my videos and let me tell you, I I think I had a lot of uh, I, like stress, you know what I mean? It just stressed out. Now, uh, as far as this channel, right, you know, there's one thing that I don't tell people, right, is that I have a, a it's not really a gambling problem. It was more like a personal thing. You know what I mean? It's like um, me, I could not, the way, what I have seen myself do in the, uh, when I was gambling and stuff like that. I mean, I haven't gambled in a long time, right? But what I have seen myself do is I cannot come out loser out of the, out of the casino. So, that means I get into blackjack, uh, Texas Hold'em poker on against the casino. So basically, I'm playing casino games, which is a terrible thing to do, right? So, and that's where it was. It's like I had to step back and figure out what am I doing wrong? What, what, what do I need to fix, you know? But the good news is I have not stopped studying poker. I really haven't because I love uh, the study, the freaking, ev the everything about poker, you know. It's just, uh, it, I think it's a fascinating game and I think it definitely is a skilled game, you know. And, oh, hold on, let me show you something. <laughs> Gotta take it easy. Hold on. There we go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? You wanna uh, say hi? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. What do you think? Does she look like me at all? Hold on. Hey, focus. <laughs> A lot of people say she does look like me. But the old lady says no. I said, okay. Let's take a vote, but she never wins. <laughs> so you may be wondering, right, what happened to you, right? Well, you know, man, I think I needed to take that break. And somebody wants to talk on the camera too, but, and just, you know, figure, figure out a way on how to overcome a problem that I do have. And I know, I knew it was a problem because I kept coming um, I kept coming up broke, you know what I mean? It's just busting bankroll after bankroll after bankroll. I mean, it wasn't much of a bankroll. 
if you can even call it a bankroll, but it was just not, it wasn't smart because like it was always, I was always up for uh, some kind of uh, doomsday. You know what I mean? Every time I stepped foot into the casino, either if I had 3,000, 4,000, it didn't matter how much it was. I was going to, I was going to come out of there broke because like after the poker table, if I did not come out victorious from there, I would find, try to find a way to where I can be victorious somewhere else. And you know damn well, if you play the casino games, more than likely the odds of you coming out of there victorious is no good, right? It was so difficult for me to accept a losing session. I guess you could say that. You know what I mean? Either that would be coming from the uh, coming, playing casino games or playing the poker tables. You know, so that's what it was that I needed to figure out, right? Um, you know, ever since I ran a trucking business, I ran it for a little bit over two years. I just l recently like shut it down, really, and uh, it's 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 been keeping me busy trucking and doing vlogs, trucking vlogs, and it's, it's been keeping me busy, that's for sure. But I had to shut it down because the market and blah, 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 it's just so terrible right now, right? I mean, if you're doing anything with transport, fuel to expenses to everything else, it's so expensive. But what I have learned is that, you know, you're not going to come out winning every day, right? You're going to have some losing days. You're going to have some losing sessions. You're going to have some losing negotiations, you know? You're going to have, your truck is going to break down in the middle of somewhere, and then you're going to have a losing day that day because you had to pay two, three thousand $3,000 for repairs, you know? And that's one thing that I could not accept uh, in the poker table when I was doing my poker vlogs, right? So I would say I'm so much different now. I would say that, and and uh, and I value money a lot more now. So um, now, in terms of playing, I don't know how how that's gonna, you know what I mean, apply into how my game plays are because before I was ruthless, right? I mean, wow, goodness, I was. Oh, okay. Let me give you an example, right? So I played just recently. Uh, I want to say, sometime last year, I played in uh, Horseshoe. Uh, Council Bluffs, Horseshoe. I think it's a Horseshoe, right? Council Bluffs. You know we played there several times. We've done took a, taking the vlog there several times. But somebody wants to talk. <laughs> By the way, this is Ayana. My daughter. And man, she's beautiful. This, this, is what, this is who's keeping all my time nowadays. Anyway, so I played at Council Bluffs, right? Council Bluffs, Iowa. And... Man, I was over there. I was sitting with like $600 stack, right? Man, did poker players get tough nowadays, man? Oh, my goodness, man. It was a 1-3. Yeah, I think it was a 1-3. So I had like, I had a junk hand like 10-9 or something like that, and I forbid it from late position. And then I, uh, uh, and then I get a call from the opener or from the three-better. And then, and then we go to a flop, and I hit nothing, and it was 9 high. Okay, no, 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 no. I, I made a mistake. So I probably had either 10-7 or 10-8 or something like that, right? Anyway, it was 9 high with like a 3 and a 4 on the flop, right? And then I, obviously, we, we continue betting. And I had him covered, I think, barely by like 200 or something like that. But um, I continue bet. He calls. And then I was like, okay, so he could probably have a nine here, right? It could probably have like a jack nine, a ten nine, you know, something something with a similar to that. I mean, if he's coming along because he's he's uh what I have seen out of him, he seemed like he's a solid player or a full time player, you uh, you you might refer to. But anyway, so the turn comes another blanket paired the board and so it's harder for me to have anything on that board, right? To hit that board, it's easier for me to have an, some kind of overpair, right? Or maybe ace, king, king, queen type hand, right? Anyway, um, I bet again, and he calls. So on the river, I plan on shoving because I'm trying to fold out nines, right? I had no idea he had a stronger nine. <laughs> so I shove, were like a pot sized bet on the river, and it took him like five. Five or eight minutes or something like that 
and eventually he made the call. And I, sh I, I wanted to say something. I wanted to be like, what, what do you have, a nine, man? And, and I, I knew I was start getting a nine, and I knew I could not win. So and, and it, I, did not, I never said it, but I just stayed quiet, you know what I mean? And then, sure enough, at the end, he, he finally made the call, and it was the correct call. He had ace nine, you know? So he went the pot. Anyway, he was like, oh, my goodness, what are you doing? And I was like, hey, I can't win the pot. I have to bet, right? I'll tell you this, though. I haven't been playing poker. I mean, I, I dabbled every now and then, and uh, I had no idea that they did something in the MGM where you match the high stack or whatever or match highest on the table and whatnot on a 1-2. <laughs> so, like, sometime last year or something like that, I I can't remember. We, I, I want to say it was, like, July or June or something like that. I went, I went and sit down at one of those tables, and I sat down for, like, 1100 <laughs> A <laughs> guy, I think the guy had like 1200 or something like that. So I was like, I sat down for 1100. But you know, uh, you know, I don't, I like deep stack a lot now, you know. Uh, shout out to the Hustler Poker, man. I mean, Hustler live stream, right? My goodness, what an insane action on that freaking live stream! My god, I tell you what, though, this baby right here, she loves to eat. And, and, she definitely loves the camera. <laughs> no, she just likes, like, whenever you do playback, uh, like, you record her and you do playback of her. Oh, man. <laughs> she goes nuts over that. Here it goes, right? I was sitting here reminiscing about the last video I made was probably, that's probably over five years doing online poker. Wow, look how, look how skinny I was, my goodness. Man, I have gained some weight. So where does that put us as far as poker vlogs? Well, you know, uh, I haven't decided yet. I don't know. I think I wanna pick this vlog back up, but I don't know if it's gonna be poker. Um, I know I wanna create content but it might involve poker. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I have no di idea the direction that I'm going to go. But I know is that I am home now. I built this studio here just for the purpose of creating some kind of content. That's that's what it is. So I'll, I'll give a tour here pretty soon. But as far as that, that is it. Um, apologies for the missing in action type deal. But... You know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to find yourself, you realign yourself direction-wise, you know? So we'll see y'all in the next vlog.